At first, statistics, we mean stats mainly in SUS, but also in system and in the other Oracle maintained schemas. But SUS is really key here. And when you have the automatic statistics job running in your databases, which is the default if you haven't turned it off, then your dictionary statistics get refreshed. Very important are also the fixed object statistics. Those are the stats on the X dollar structures very deep down in the Oracle dictionary. And I think since Oracle database 12201, this is also part of the automatic stats gathering job. But you can check beforehand if you have current stats there. And if not, it's really a good idea to refresh them by yourself. When you invoke auto upgrade, and as you know, this is the only way to upgrade your databases now and the only recommended way, then auto upgrade will check if your stats in the dictionary are seven days old or newer, then auto upgrade won't regather them. But if they are older than seven days, so the barrier is eight days for the stats, the age, then auto upgrade will refresh them. And then you may see in the pre upgrade HTML file this information here saying, hey, dictionary stats are outdated. If there's a fix up available, yes, it says. That means auto upgrade will now refresh your stats. Save this time. I will show you an example in a minute. And then you do this by yourself, save some upgrade downtime. Ideally, you do this 24 to 48 hours before the upgrade. So don't start it like, oh my God, downtime starts in 10 minutes. Uh, let's do it now. That's not a good idea. Do it a day or two days before, especially the fixed object start scattering may take a little while. And you ideally do this when you have load on the database and not in a uh, low peak hour. Then your checks on the database now. Is automatic start scattering job on is the first check. And if it says enabled, then you know, okay, dictionary and fixed object starts get refreshed on a regular basis, if you have the right database release. Um, if you disabled it, just to remember, this is the way how to enable it. So you say dbms auto task admin enable, and then you specify the job name. And you can also, in addition, add the global statistics gathering pref auto stats target Oracle, which then advises the job. If you think, I know better for my user objects, up to you, but you can take off this task of refreshing the stats in a dictionary. And this is what you do with the outer stats target Oracle, because then orally Oracle maintained objects will be tackled by the automatic gathering job, not your objects. So in case you want your objects treated by your own jobs, you keep your job, but with this extra uh, item, you change the job to take only care of Oracle maintained objects and not of yours. So this is a good way to divert this task. Then next check is have my stats refreshed in the last seven days. So the key here is CDB op stats operations. And you check whether gather fixed object stats had been done, gather dictionary stats had been done, and a gather schema stats had been happened on sys and system schemas. And all this sys state minus seven. So you get a list. If there is a list, then all is good. If there's no row selected, that means hmm, it hadn't been done. So you need to do it. So if they haven't been refreshed, then you do it 24 to 48 hours before the actual upgrade. The easiest way is gather schema stats on sys and on system. Why don't we mention here the Giver Dictionary Stats call? The Giver Dictionary Stats call only tackles empty and stale stats. But based on experience, especially in relation with transportable table spaces and DBMS metadata, we have learned in several projects that sometimes it's really good to refresh the, all the stats on the user and not only those who are stale to get better performance. And it takes not much longer, actually. If you have a multi-tenant environment, then please see the second box on the slide here, because then you do it with CutCon, and it will tackle the stats generation on sys and system in this example on all your containers, including PDB dollar seed. 
and uh, all your PDBs, if they are open, of course. Then an example, what happens if you don't gather stats by yourself? This is comparing two setups, or actually the same setup, but two examples. In the first one, multi-tenant environment, a test environment we built up, we didn't gather stats. And then we measured the part, the stats gathering cost during the upgrade. And just gathering stats by ourselves beforehand saved us 12 minutes in that environment. And this was not a super huge environment, not with a super complex dictionary. So save this time, especially in multi-tenant environments and gather your stats beforehand. And I would like to show you some quick examples. So this is a, like a vanilla test database in my hands-on lab environment. And just the difference between running the upgrade with no dictionary statistics or refreshing them right before the upgrade saves me 14% of the upgrade duration. This is not bad. And this is just a vanilla database. But I can show you also an extreme example. So here, this is not a typo on the slide. We go from 10 hours, 56 minutes down to 52 minutes for an EBS database. 93%. I mean, this is an edge case, but I would like to show you what has happened. So we had stale or no stats in the first trial and then good stats afterwards. And the only slight difference is that there was an index full scan before. And you see it's on a different dictionary table, IOBJ2. And with current stats, it was now a range scan on IOBJ1. The result of that simple query was so dramatic. Nine hours, almost 10 hours, almost exactly 10 hours versus two seconds afterwards. And just done by refreshing dictionary statistics. So this could be the impact any extreme. And this is not made up. This was a real customer case. 